Hey everyone, it's the Wednesday afternoon edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, and we're going to show you what's going on now, and as we head into tonight, we'll talk about the long range a bit as well. And uh, what we've got going on here in the 2 o'clock hour is a dry intrusion of air into our uh, storm system. That's this slot right in through here. Now it is drizzling, raining lightly, even snowing lightly in some spots around the valley, but generally speaking, the precipitation is real light and real spotty. We're kind of in between right now. Here's the rain. Here's the steadier, heavier snow, and we're kind of in an in-between zone. Again, not much showing up on the radar, but, you know, it's raining lightly. There's some snowflakes trying to mix in towards Salem and Alliance uh, right now and up towards Warren into parts of uh, Trumbull County, but uh, not accumulating snow, certainly, at this point. Take a look at uh, what's going on uh, to the south and east of us. This is a pretty good-looking band of showers, and I wouldn't be shocked to hear some thunder uh, out in south-central Pennsylvania down into West Virginia this afternoon. This is actually a thin line of of showers that extends down into the southern Appalachians. Yeah, there could be some thunder with that. Uh, Storm Prediction Center is outlooking uh, parts of the east uh, for some thunder for the rest of the day today. Apparently my graphic is not going to show that though. I guess not. All right, well anyway, they're keeping an eye on this zone through here for some gusty, perhaps damaging winds even uh, with this line of, of showers pushing through. So, uh, let's put the radar motion. We'll show you the general motion of things here uh, around midday today, around 11 to 12 or so. We did have some sleet, some freezing rain, some snow starting to transition in, in Trumbull County particularly, but uh, then the dry slot worked in, so not much has happened since then. But boy, has it been snowing out towards Cedar Point, Finley, Marion, Mansfield, and into Cleveland as well. And the jackpot is going to be up here in New York State, uh, Rochester, Syracuse, Watertown, up into the Adirondacks, up into Burlington, Vermont. A lot of places that end up with over a foot of snow up there. Thankfully, we're dodging the bullet in uh, that respect here. Now let's talk about temperatures a little bit because uh, this is going to be a big story going forward. The uh, temperature's been kind of holding steady around the region, fairly close to freezing over the last uh, several hours, but we're, we're starting to slip below freezing. And notice how much colder it is up across northwest Ohio into Michigan, where it's tumbling down into the 20s and the teens. And I do think that that uh, is a drop that we're going to see here before the afternoon is through. It's even colder up here across uh, the U.S.-Canadian border. That's the temperature. Look at the wind chills. Wind chills are dropping down into the single digits around Toledo right now. It's uh, down into the single digits below zero up around the northern Great Lakes. And again, that is where our air is, is coming from. Uh, so yeah, it's going to turn colder. It's going to turn windy, I think, as well. I've got the uh, latest high-resolution model uh, wind speeds here at the surface plotted up. And uh, the kind of uh, darker, or, or I should say lighter blues, the more tealish colors here, those are the stronger winds. And as I roll this forward uh, from about 4 o'clock into the evening, you'll notice some of those colors will try to sneak into eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. So while it's not tremendously windy out there just yet, I, I do think it will turn pretty windy before the afternoon is through. There'll be a strong north to northwest wind, and that's going to create some pretty ugly wind chills across the region for the rest of the day today. As far as uh, the future radar here, let's show you that, and we'll uh, back things up here to this afternoon. Uh, starting out at around 3 o'clock, there's our line of showers, perhaps in thunder, in uh, Pennsylvania. And here's that steadier snow working in from the west, and it will continue pushing in. We are going to see some snowflakes in much of the valley, but, you know, accumulations are going to be pretty light. It looks like this dry intrusion of air has pretty much eliminated the chance for much in the way of even moderate accumulations. So, uh, you know, that's going to be, uh, uh, again, a, a bullet dodged here. Uh, this is not the predicted radar, but... If there were to be precipitation, this would be the type it is. So you can see we're firmly in the blue. This is by the end of the afternoon. So again, any precipitation that falls towards dinner time is not going to be rain. It is going to be snow. Well, how much snow are we talking? I mentioned, uh, you know, there's just not going to be much out there. Uh, accumulations, I think, uh, will generally range from uh, coating to an inch, maybe two. Your best chance of getting more than two, maybe three or four. It's going to be up in northern Trumbull County. Uh, certainly the amounts will, will continue to ramp up as you're closer to the traditional snow belts and closer to the lakeshore. This is not a lake effect event, but up in the traditional snow belt area, this, that just happens to be where the heaviest snow will be. Cleveland and over towards Ashtabula, Erie, and heading up towards Buffalo as well. And as I mentioned, the jackpot's going to be up here in upstate New York. So we don't have to worry about big snows. What we do have to worry about is a rapid freeze-up because everything's kind of wet and, and muddy and kind of uh, nasty out there right now, but as temperatures drop quickly this afternoon, and especially this evening after dark, 
uh, a lot of parking lots and uh, sidewalks are going to turn into uh, ice rinks across the region. Uh, so you want to keep your eye out for that. Uh, that'll have a more of an impact on your on your uh, lifestyle and your travels than snow will over the next several hours. Uh, wanted to bring this to your attention in case you haven't seen me talk about this just yet. This is called the M Ping Project, and what this is is a crowdsourcing type of a thing. And what I mean by that is, uh, it's a free app you can get on your smartphone called M Ping, and you can report what type of precipitation you're seeing. It's free and it's really easy. It's just as simple as hitting a button on your phone, and then those reports are sent into this website, and you can see where uh, the reports are. So this goes back to this morning, and it's kind of interesting. Uh, you know, we don't have a ton of users here in Northeast Ohio, but a few hours ago, right around 11 o'clock or so, I mentioned that uh, there was some mixing going on. And sure, we had a few reports on Mping up around Warren and Hallen uh, of uh, of some snow and some mixed precipitation going on. The green raindrops, of course, that's rain. These uh, circles here, kind of blue, snow, uh, maybe some mixing as well. So that was around 11 o'clock noon. We had some Mping reports up there around Warren. But generally, Mahoning County and certainly Columbiana County, this has just been been rain for the most part today. So download that app, use it. Uh, any uh, additional uh, reports we can get will, will only be helpful, particularly in these uh, kind of situations where we have some mixed precipitation going on. All right, uh, let's let's uh, finish talking about our storm and go forward. Thursday is going to be bitterly cold. Wind chills tomorrow morning, minus 10 in some spots. So be ready for that. It's going to be harsh to step outside Thursday morning. We'll see some sun Thursday afternoon as high pressure builds in. The wind is going to shut down towards the end of Thursday, leading to a, a clear night uh, and with calm winds Thursday night. It'll be pretty cold again. And then on Friday, boy, what a rapid warm-up we've got coming. There's going to be a, a low-pressure system up here, a warm front here, and a southwest wind developing Friday. And this is the kind of thing we can see in March. Very cold mornings followed by a big warm-up if the wind direction's right and we have some sun. So we're probably going to go from the mid-teens all the way up to the upper 40s between the morning and afternoon on Friday, and uh, certainly you know, any snow that manages to accumulate today will melt Friday. And then we'll head into the weekend, and this is Friday night, Saturday morning, uh, associated with that low, a cold front slipping in, and maybe there's a, a, a shower or two of rain or snow into Saturday morning. The rest of the weekend looks pretty uneventful. It's going to turn colder, uh, not as cold as tonight, but colder than Friday. This next system is probably a mist to the south for us. They might be dealing with some snow around D.C. with that, but odds favor that missing us right now. We'll keep you updated. And then early next week, no big storms on the horizon. Monday looks quiet. Tuesday looks quiet as well. And uh, temperature-wise, into the longer range, I'm not going to bring up uh, any charts here, but I can tell you that overall it's a pattern that doesn't uh, favor much uh, above average warmth, but it also is not a tremendously cold pattern taking us through the end of the month. So I think we'll have a lot of kind of ho-hum days uh, during the last two weeks of March where we're in the 40s, which is actually where we should be at this time of the year. Occasionally a warmer day, occasionally a colder day, but I don't see uh, spring fever type of weather hitting us anytime soon. I don't see 70 happening anytime in the uh, in the foreseeable future. All right, that's Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll keep you updated on Facebook and Twitter and uh, on uh, Instagram, and I'm on Google Plus as well. I know not a lot of people use Google Plus, but it's a great platform. Check me out there, and I'll be on 21 News tonight at 6 and 11. See you then.